And we are live. Welcome everybody to the third edition of Art of Trading with Bybit. Welcome, Leonard. How are you feeling? I'm doing well, man. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? All right. Lovely to hear. I am in a mood right now because looking at the charts, this could be such great timing for a stream and I'm sure everybody's feeling the same. So no time to waste, Leonard, if you'll introduce yourself and everybody in the chat, let me know how you're feeling. Bullish, bearish, what's going on here? We see massive pumps into overboard territory, right into perfect entry zones coinciding with this. So what's happening? Are we about to have the best stream ever or what? I see Christian Byrne in the building, our resident crypto comedian from South London. Welcome, welcome, brother. So let's see who's here. We've got Anshul, Sergi, Joe, lovely. we got Kilo in the building. Trades by Real, Kilo. Nigeria. There we go, Christian Byrne. Ika, German from Italy, lovely. There we go. Our Nigerians are in the building. Our global team is here. Lovely to see. All right, so let's go, let's go. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jordan. I am a Bybit affiliate as well as a Bybit ambassador, and I'm very passionate about both trading and the Bybit platform. So I'm here to have some fun and to show you just how rodeo it can be and, you know, just how much fun you can have and if of course you, you learn to manage your risk. All right, let's see here. One day's bullish. I mean, we're seeing pumps. Kindly pick my coin. Which coin are we looking at? Unshul. How can anyone feel bearish? Now, well, I'm about a short. I'll tell you that. I mean, we're going right into my resistance and we're either going to pop through it, hit my stop loss up to this weekly or daily level. This is my trading chart. So there's lots of confluence happening right here. But as we can see, exactly up. I have not changed these lines. We came exactly up to the top of the resistance box that we mapped out last time. We are just above the top of the value area high in the fixed range volume profile, which I'm going to look at in a little bit. And we are now coming back down below the middle of our resistance. We tippied to the tippy top. And you know, that was just before the stream, just before the stream. And if it was there, I would have entered, you know what, I'm going to enter now anyway. So before our DJ trades, let's just enter into a Bitcoin short because we can see here on the four hour, we're in a beautiful position for a sort of intraday short, a four hour short on Bitcoin here. And like I said, if it keeps pumping, if it keeps pumping, I'm happy. I'm happy to take my stop and we are going to hedge our bets with some longs on the alts. So let's go. I'm going to bring the leverage down a little bit this time. Please confirm in the chat if everybody can see and hear. Let's see if we've got everything happening correctly. I'm going to go for a, sure, let's go for a 12x. Uh, let's keep it a little bit tame. Let's have a little bit of a possible swing here. So I'm just going to bring both the long and the short. We'll do a, a lucky number 13. And to get into this trade now, we see we're at $29,138. We're currently pumping up, and that's not bad. I'm going to enter in on a $50. I'd like to enter in on 100, but I'd like to keep some to add to my trade up to the margin of 100 if we pump a little bit higher for a little bit of a fake out to the top. But right now, we can see the entry is just screaming at us on the four hour. So let's go 50 Actually, no, well, let's have some fun. Let's go $100. Uh, we can make it a $200 if we pump further up. Bybit has given us some funds to have fun with. So let's go. Remember, always add your profit, your take profit, and more importantly, your stop. So let's do that. We're going to do a take profit by ROI percentage. Wow, and look at that. The community got their wish. It is now... The default on ORI percentage. So congratulations. You can see how your feedback actually makes a difference and you change the platform. Well done. So now we, for those of us who do prefer the ORI percentage, we don't have to change it. It is there for us. All right. So let's see. We want to have it on our short and we want our ORI percentage. Wow. And now it shows you a trigger price. So they did us even one better. Absolutely beautiful. So it's both at the same time. I mean, this is why I love this platform so much. All right. So I'll take profit. We're going to go for, oof, we can even go in between all the percentages. Let's go for a 90% take profit. And same as last time, we're going to go for a 30% stop loss. That is a one to three risk to reward ratio. Confirm it. Make sure you're on the short. Make sure you see here that you have a TP and a stop loss on your entire position on your short. This is how you manage your risk. 
especially if you're using cross like I am, and then you smash it. You open the short, we can see exactly where our take profit is. Not bad. Let's have a look where our stop is. Not bad. Stop is at 29,827. We have a little bit of room to play, and this would be super overbought territory. Let's just look at the four hour RSI. The last time we were this high, this is literally the 90 level. The last time we were this high, we saw gnarly, gnarly volatility. Boom, 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 and then a huge short. So let's ride this like a rodeo bull here again. 90, we saw obviously this massive short. So four hour, 90 level, very nice, strong position of power. As we can see, we are pumping up a little bit and that's okay. We'll take the stop. If the stop hits, we'll take the stop. Let me see if I can get p l to start working. There we go. All right, the p l share seems to be working. So now we can see literally what we are risking, which is a $28 against a profit of $85. So let's leave it there. Let's continue starting off with a bang and go straight into some degen trading because if bitcoin turns around right now we are going to hedge our bet long in case bitcoin keeps pumping but if bitcoin turns around right now from this zone and turns into the beautiful exhaustion pattern short that we're looking for all the way back down to this level that's a beautiful beautiful entry that we're going to get right now on btc it might just hit our full take profit we could even just rather set a take profit for a partial portion of it but you know what i like to take my profits off the table so let's keep it as a, a kind of mid leverage almost a scalp and yeah we'll see how it goes but right now what i'm thinking is if this actually happens of course the alts are going to follow suit so let me go into the chat and right now let's open some trades let's open three trades so let me know what are you looking at are you short are you long which altcoins which leverage i'm looking for max leverage and I'm looking for 15 minute time frame. So right now in the chat, let's see. I see the team is in the building. All right, shorts on BTC. When buy and stop and sell, stop. All right, so continue learning. It can all be done on Bybit. All right, trades by wheel. Yeah, I mean, look at this RSI. It's, it's you know, this for me is where I have my fun. We are rhyming stochastic overboard right at the top. It's literally topping out. There's no more space. It's at the 100 on the stochastic. So that is very powerful in itself. Then we have the 90 level. So you can see that I'm smiling because I don't like to play from positions that are not powerful. And of course, it's difficult to get it to line up. I've been watching this chart for the last hour saying, please don't dump yet. Please don't dump yet. So yeah, we, we're doing it. All right. Look at this. Absolutely awesome to see everybody here. We can see and hear you, lovely to hear. Okay, so right now I want in the chat, I want the coin and I want long or short. All right, so we entered the short on BTC, very nice. Recently, BTC experienced a significant increase in value, most def. So what is this? Let us know, we're gonna look into it, but what is causing this increase? Okay, so let me show you how we're gonna smash some DJ trades here. And it looks like what's so beautiful here is now we have this right here to tell us exactly what's happening to bitcoin and we can monitor and enter our else so beautifully according to that so let's do it all we do as you know my main strategy for entering dgen trades is to first of all go to the 15 minute time frame that is my favorite time frame for scalping first find your entry on the 15 minute then head to the five and of course inform yourself from the one hour and the four hour maybe i'm speaking too fast please let me know if i should slow down uh, there's just so much that I want to do in this session. As you can see, whew, our entry is looking good. We've got almost the $5, 4.68% .68 in profit. And this is a nice sign. We'll watch this candle now. If we get a bearish engulfing candle here, could be a very nice sign of a good entry into the alts. We're also now seeing an entry into this kind of liquidity zone on this 15 minute time frame. And we can see right here, maybe the stochastic on 15 has a little bit of a push up because we're looking for the rhyme, remember? And the rhyme here, I mean, this is a bearish divergence. So for those of you who know about the divergences, this is regular RSI giving us a downwards angle on our momentum while price is very steeply pumping. So 15, oof, large 15 minute bearish divergence. This could be a fun one. So 
let's be safe. As I say, it looks like we might get something like this. But from there, what I do, most of you know my DGEN 15 minutes strategy that I'm developing. Basically, we come to our coins, we start with all of our coins, and we look at the 24 hour percentage, and we just see what has pumped and what has dumped. And what I'm interested in here is actually, are actually some of the dumpers. Maybe they, these are sleeping and they have not pumped yet. Everything tends to pump after Bitcoin and these coins haven't pumped. Bitcoin pumped. Let's see how much. Ten percent and we're seeing three percent on altcoins. So some of them probably still need to catch up. So let's go back to those pumpers and see if any are over pumped that we can short FLM. All right, so we're getting a 15 minute possible entry here. So let's be the DJs that we are sometimes and do it. So let's go across. Let's pump it to a 25. Actually, wait, let's just look at the volatility first before we go too nuts into this. I want to get stopped out instantly here. Okay, so that is 22 hours, 36% short. So we'll keep it at a 10x. We'll go on a market, make sure we're on hedge mode. Nice, cross 10x, order by cost, $100. Let's make sure we have our stop loss. So we go for the short, uh, take profit. We'll just stick with our current risk to reward. Go for about a minus 30 to about, about a plus 90. And you can see what you're risking against what you're looking to gain. Confirm. Make sure. Always double check that it's there. Basically, the reason that I teach this is so that, of course, you can enter the position. Then you can go put your stop loss. But what happens if you enter the position on cross on 10x and then your internet goes down? What happens then? Whose fault is it if you get wrecked? Exactly. All right. So let's go. Uh, 10x cross, $100. We've got our stop loss. Let's open a short. And there it is. We can see this is this is a nice scalp. So what I'm going to do is it looks like there's a little bit of a, a danger here of us getting wicked out. It's always good to try and bring your stop loss at least above the previous large wick to the top. Ideally, I want to be there. But if I put it there, we can see what we're risking. And maybe it's too much. So I'm going to put it just above the previous wick. And then our take profit, our risk to reward is there. So it actually fits beautifully. Maybe there are other traders trading this. And of course, if we want to spend time here, we can see if this is a turnaround. Of course, we'd want to look at a FIB retracement. Um, let's have a look for our take profits. All right, so our take profit is currently around the 0 0.382 area. We could set a partial there. We could bring it down to the golden pocket at the 0 0.618. I'm going to leave it there because you know what? We're scalping. We want to see profits. We want to see profits realized coming off the table. All right, so now we have two trades. Let me see if I can get this to. There we go. And it's as easy as that. And of course, monitor them, manage your risk, but this is how it's done. Okay, so let me see if there are any questions on the first two trades. We've got our PL there. And of course, whatever we see now in this Bitcoin PL, we can be sure it's gonna it's gonna mirror because we're short on the else. So one thing we can look at here is like I said, to hedge our bet against. The fact, like if, now we're saying, okay, if Bitcoin comes down, this trade's going to do well, our Bitcoin trade's going to do well. But if we long an altcoin, then if Bitcoin continues to pump, we can still earn a nice risk to reward to the upside in the opposite direction. So should we try and see if there is a possible long anywhere quickly? So we go to our 24-hour percentages and we look for the dumpers and we look at Pax G. Mm, very confused, hovering in the middle, so not looking like an entry for me. We'll look at this buzz D. Well, this is like a stable coin. <laughs> USD savings, USD. Look at spell. Mm, spell looking, she shame, more like a short. 
But what I'm looking for is basically RSI here, 15 minute for any of these coins. Just like we saw with our previous entry, we want to, we want to go long just to hedge our bet in case all this bullish stuff that's coming in about the ETFs, it could just cause, like I said, it could cause Bitcoin to just continue pumping up to our actual weekly and daily resistance, back down to this area of key support and resistance, and then a boost up to above the 30,000 level. And that would be a lovely bullish scenario. The other scenario, which we are currently positioned for, is of course, this kind of a move back down and back down. Maybe boom, boom. All right, so in the chat, let me know uh, if I'm missing any coins. Let's go to my favorites and quickly see what's happening. It's okay if we don't get the long. OP is up. And there are so many assets. Basically, if you want to trade at a very particular time like this, you just need to scroll through them and look for assets that are obviously in the right position. For long or short. And you know what? It's all about discipline. What is this? Theta. Matic looking like a possible short, not exactly rhyming. We are in two trades, so we'll move into the news quickly if we don't find anything shortly. Oof, that looks like it's kind of turning around. Avalanche. Atom. Bits. Give me one second. I'm using some new software here. All right, so what is this? Let's have a the, look. Nothing you're back. is lining up here for another short. Let me just look at a few more. This is called screening. We are right now screening alts for an entry on the 15 minute time frame. MTL looks like it's moving towards a long entry. So let's keep our eyes on MTL there. I know a lot of you are trading MTL. It's an awesome, awesome coin to trade. XMR, not exactly right. Let's look at magic. ARB. So we can see most of these coins regular. RSI on the 15 minute is just right in the middle. They're so confused because Bitcoin has just been dumping, pumping, dumping, pumping, and now a huge pump. INJ looks like it still wants to go higher on its regular. It looks like it could be an entry, so I'm going to keep that. We are running through time, so I think let's keep those two DGEN trades there for now with our PL. And we'll do a little bit of more screening. But then, in the meantime, while I continue to screen, I'm going to hand over to you. Thank you, sir. All right. Before we move into the news, guys, because there's a lot going on today, I want to make sure that we drop the uh, Kahoo pin so we can get everybody set up, you know, pre early for that, and the uh, raffle link. So you guys be on the lookout at some point during the broadcast for our code, and then you're going to put that in the um, raffle form. So, you know, you know how it works if you've been here. And if you haven't been here, that's a shame. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on in the news. We're going to drop that in the um, chat, so we'll keep an eye on it. But, um. As I'm aware, everybody has seen the tremendous increase in the market lately. Like, this is amazing. And we will see if it's like an upper trajectory and we're going to keep going and we're going to see some, you know, correction. But I'm bullish and that's rare. I'm, I'm pretty firm of bear, but like, I, I feel really positive about this. But um, we're going to dial down into, you know, what are the reasons for this increase? Like, what is this all about? And like, talk about, you know, the feasibility of the continuation. Like, basically, what is all this based off of? But, um, all right, let's get into our first news point. Um, if you've been following crypto Twitter, I'm pretty sure you're already aware, Zach XBT has been sued by Maki Big Brother over defamation. All right, you may have seen this headline, but you didn't actually know what was going on with this. So let me give you like a little backstory as to what's going on with this. It's kind of serious, but it's kind of funny as well. All right, so about a year ago, um, Zach XBT published an article accusing Jeffrey Wang that's like uh, Maki Big Brother's actual name of embezzling crypto assets using various methods from like pump and dump schemes to like a bunch of pop-up NFT projects. Um, it was like a big thing at the time, but 
it kind of died down. I mean, we this was like a year ago, and then you know we would all have a lot more to think about, like FTX <laughs> in the near future. So it kind of faded back into the zeitgeist. So like um, nobody really thought about it. And like coming recently, we hear like Wang pops up on Twitter with basically a defamation lawsuit against Zach XPT, um, saying that uh, he damaged his reputation with those particular you know accusations, which you know is true. If you have business relationships, Zach XPT, Zach XPT is like extremely respected in the space. Um, accusations being leveled from someone like that tend to carry weight, although, you know, we had kind of forgotten about it. It's dry effect. So um, uh, basically false and defamatory uh, accusations from Zach XPT with like, you know, a large civil settlement on the line. So Zach was responded on Twitter with like a really long uh, post where they essentially denied the, accus denied the accusations and said that it was like an attack against free speech. I'm sorry, quote, an attempt to chill free speech that legal defense. So like he uh, put up a deposit address and this has been a couple of days now. And like, as I write this, he's received over a million dollars in assets you know, coming in to help him with his legal fund. And this isn't just like randos. It's a lot of randos, but like we've seen like CZ from Binance drop off $10,000. We've seen Certic give some money. We've seen Justin's son give some funds. So um, it's like a really big deal. And like a lot of the community, I love to see it, is like really behind him and his mission to like defend himself from this particular accusation. So um, we'll see how it goes out. But um, it's... It's it's crypto drama because you know crypto is always some kind of drama. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that um you know uh, Maki Big Brother is in the wrong with this? Uh, do you think there's any credibility to the accusations against him, or do you think this is kind of on Zach XPT for you know putting something out there you know without vetting it enough, or maybe he was wrong in his opinion? Um, what's your opinion, uh, Jordan? What do you think? Do you think there's any wings to this? Do you think he'll prevail in his lawsuit, Zach? I mean, uh, Maki Big Brother? Or do you think Zach XPT is pretty much safe with this one? Mm, this, uh, you know, personally, it does seem a little bit traumatic. And he said, she said. And yeah, I think it's really good to be aware of. But at the same time, I don't know how much it's informing me or how much it's just you know i like you said people love drama and people love drama in this space and at the end of the day they could even be two guys just saying hey let's make a big fuss so that people are talking about us so that we're the ones trending so i don't know take it with a pinch of salt and yeah i'd say rather focus on the charts than the fud but just be aware be aware all right so i did drop Thanks, the Kahoot sir. link and i will drop the raffle link right now but leo we're loving your voice so please do continue <laughs> appreciate it man all right moving on to our next topic and let me cue that up and this is what everybody wants to talk about Kirk. oh wrong screen bear me guys where'd you go All right, so I'm dropping the raffle link with Appreciate password. Appreciate it. Having code. some tech difficulties. Give me one sec. No stress. So everybody, make sure you head over to the Kahoot in the meantime. I see we have Trades by Real, some random entrance. Anthony, it does help if you use your, your Telegram handle. Uh, or your Discord username uh, for rewards. But welcome, welcome, Anthony Emperor, Jordan Hindi, Sutan Saya, Gent God, Pashas. Awesome. So I'm going to drop the link for the Kahoot one more time. And let me know if the attendance raffle form is working. Please do go fill in and use your password. Our code is... Test two, run one. All right. 
Zyder, Crypto Cloud, awesome. I see we're all hopping on. Very, very nice. All right, so while that's happening, what we can do is we've got some very nice suggestions here. So let's have a look. We have STX. All right, I'm set. I had to close and reopen. Don't know what that was about. But, uh, All right, so let's head back over though. to Leonard for now. Awesome. No, go for it. <laughs> that time in the... All right. All right. Um, what everybody am I unmuted? Yes. All right. Why we are seeing these giant hikes and all of everything. Bitcoin is like through the roof. We might see 30, maybe allegedly, um, you know, also doing great. Like what's behind this? All right. So right now, BlackRock, if you haven't heard, has filed an application for a Bitcoin spot exchange traded fund. All right. This is huge, if true. Um, we have seen this so many times over the last 10 years. Um, so many companies have tried and failed to actually establish an ETF. And um, right now we do have ETF products, but essentially they are not spot. Um, for legal adherence or for regulatory concerns, you only really see like futures um, tied uh, exchange traded funds. So if we could actually get a spot, like this would be absolutely amazing. And what essentially you're seeing with all this upper price action is people, you know, pricing in the possibility that this actually goes live. So, so um, this isn't the only company, like there's been a flurry lately of companies like Invesco has also put out a spot ETF um, that have like came into the space. And it's really interesting timing in my opinion, you know, like the SEC is like pretty much gone rogue <laughs> with uh, Binance and Coinbase. And um, ironically in this BlackRock finding, filing um coinbase is their custodian for the um their the funds that'll be tied up in the exchange traded fund so i'm bullish on this but i think we're like celebrating this a little prematurely um given the current climate given how aggressively it seems that the sec has started to enforce or regulate through enforcement since ftx pretty much because if you notice you know they would have actions and they were like really unclear up to that point but like it has they have dialed down on you know actually making uh, lawsuits and like filings against people pretty much after xtx so where are we going to go from here like blackrock is one of the largest asset managers in the world i'm sorry blackrock is the largest asset manager in the world so like if anybody's going to get this to work it's going to be a blackrock etf vesco is not shabby either but We've seen um, ARC fail on this. We've seen everybody. Like, there's been about 30 companies that have, have actually tried this. So um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm cheerful. Like, if this works, so much institutional inflows. Like, this is exchange traded. So, like, the average consumer will be able to invest in this. Um, institutions are going to flock into this, like, very regulated, very, like, safe from a liability standpoint. Not necessarily price action, but just from a legal standpoint, this structure. So, like, we have everything to gain. But if we lose this one, which I don't think this would be, like, a very fast decision, too. Like, surprise that it's getting priced in so early because these things take time to litigate, especially, like, with how fractious everything is. But um, if this doesn't go through, I mean, this is pretty much status quo up to this point. We haven't seen one of these pass over almost a decade at this point. So, like, I'm not holding my breath. But um, it would be so amazing. And um, apparently, like, everybody else feels the exact same way if you didn't notice the surge. So um, if you think, you know, we'll see some positive, if you think this will actually go through, let me know. Um, I'm curious about you guys' take on this. If you think this is just another attempt that's going to eventually, you know, fall by the wayside, let me know that as well. I'm curious about your guys' opinions when it comes to this. But it's so huge. If, this is, if you love crypto and you want to see this, you know, persist and not if you want to buy in lower prices because it's going to be up once this thing gets approved. But if you love to see this, if you're if you're bullish on this, let me know because um, I, I I have mixed feelings. I don't know if I've like completely formed an opinion about it yet. All right, and moving on from BlackRock, the third and final piece of huge news is the Tether DPEG. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed this; it made the news, but like. It so wasn't a big thing. <laughs> so um, Tether recently experienced the 
most minuscule DPEG, and crypto went absolutely bonkers all at one time. All right, apparently it we had freak me a out, whale I must say. that um. <laughs> It did freak me out. <laughs> I'm As a still trader, thinking about the hold, USDC. You're peg. trying to decide what to hold. Is it USDC? Is it USDC? Imagine. USDC depegged to 80 cents. So it's a little bit sketchy. When I saw it going down, yes. even two cents, I actually sold some for normal currency because it's scary. What if it just depegs and then all of the trading capital that you have in USDT is just gone? So. Yeah, that was a bit of a scary one. And yeah, it would be. I mean, I just, it boggles my mind, like how that happens. I was... Basically, I think it's because of bank runs. People just withdrawing a lot of money, then the banks can't hold that up anymore. Yeah. It's a little bit scary. I was 100% in USDC when that massive DPEG went. I was like all pegged to stables and I just had to watch Rome burn. I didn't really have a choice at that point when I found out about it. But if I could have came in with additional funds, I so regret because that was the buying opportunity of the century. Discounted stable coins. But um, personally, I'm a USDC guy. Tether, a lot more exposure, a lot more integration. They just recently moved to Kava, I want to say, like in the wake of all this. But historically, the transparency. I remember when they had the New York suit back in the day and um, they like had the reserves. They've never not had what they said they had. But it was tied up in different asset classes. It wasn't just straight clash. Like they had commercial paper, they had bonds, things like that. USDC has been, in my opinion, only slightly more transparent. They have like the regular attestations. There's always like a little bit of mystery about it. But the publicly, uh, the public certainly loves USDT, like undisputed champion. It's all over the place. There's like Tether Gold. There's like Tether Peso, Tether Euro, a real integrated product. They know what they're doing over there. So yeah, like this, um, we slipped down like mere percentage, like tenths of a percentage point. Uh, this devaluation, like basically took us like 0.995 off of a dollar, but, um, people were scared and, um, you saw curve pool react in their three pool, which is like a die and, uh, USDC and USDT, it like overwhelmingly balanced. It was like 78% USDT temporarily as people fled to die in USDC because like the sky is falling, which, you know, I get it. You know, this is your money guys. And this is how this works. It'd be like if I went to the store and the dollar was suddenly worth 50%, wait for it, uh, 50% less than, than what it was. But um, after all that calamity, it is pretty much corrected. Like the sky stopped falling and like we're back to where we were. Um, Tether guy uh, came out basically and tweeted like a meme, like a coffee meme, and like commented on the FUD and um, talked about like uh, their push for increased transparency and like reassuring everybody that they definitely had the funds to honor any redemption quest request. So like that's really good. It like heartens me to hear, even though I have a preference, I want to hear all the players in the stablecoin game are a hundred percent not fractional. They have your funds there because you know since their development like this really underpins crypto you know you need some kind of peg in order in in, in bad times so um i i'd want that you know to be particularly good we had ust we all know how that went so i want all my stable coin providers to be on the most because really they kind of determine where this thing goes so like they're so integrated at this point that they are definitely like a not removable fixture from the crypto space. And um, yeah, let me know if you were affected or if you um, started to, if you got FOMO or, you know, caught up in the mix as far as all that jazz, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your opinion about that. But crisis averted. We can go back to normal and watch these amazing bullish uptrends across the entire market, which Jordan is about to elaborate on and show you the best way to move from a position of power. <laughs> and I'm going to hand it back to Jordan. Um, it's on you, guy. I think just before you do that, can you hit us with your hyped tokens? Oh, and I can then go ahead I'll and do, do that. BTC right, and ETH and everybody get your chart requests ready. And if you have any charts, please do drop them in the Discord. I have the Discord open. If you have any nice setups, please do let me know. All right. All right wow. Awesome to see. These. Just opened my first ever cross margin trade. Sure. Well played. Let us know what the leverage is and is it a short or is it a long? 
first ever trade jess has been learning for sure over a year and a half now in our community congratulations <laughs> yeah true hope you saw me in the group when usd you when usdt was depegging i was freaking out joe my stable coin is btc diamond hands much respect all my respect given to you all right so let's have a look and see what's happening with our kahoot Alar, awesome to see. Tannen, Trihubli, Vic Kruro, awesome. Sergi, Guru. All right, so don't worry if you're struggling to get on as long as you're, you're 17, able. 17. We still have another few minutes, 15 minutes before the Kahoot, so you've got time. All right, short on ETH from Abhishek. Let's have a look. So right now, BTC is continuing to pump. We have our regular RSI on the 15 minute, like I said, making a last play for this top section. What we're looking for is actually possibly further into the actual overbought that we can see that maybe we are gonna break through our slow moving average here on the stochastic. So we'll just sit on our seat for now, sit on our fingers for now and wait a little bit. Let's have a look at our FLM trade, of course, following btc but not bad if we look at the economic calendar we can see that things are heating up we just had powell speaking we had jefferson and cook and we are going to have goolsby and 20 a bond auction and this fomc member mester so more volatility coming in remember manage your risk and yeah let me hand over uh, to you, Leonard, if you're ready, and then I'll do the charting on BTC and yep. ETH. All right. All right. Circling back to our hyped coins. All right. I don't know if you've been on the platform. You've definitely been on the platform. We got three major movers today, um, FLM, Flamingo Finance, um, KDA, Cadena, and CFX, which is Conflux, or Chinese Ethereum, if you remember that. All right. Um, regarding Flamingo Finance um, Exchange, honestly, I mean, obviously, um, they recently, I want to say, what was up with Flamingo? Uh, Flamingo ha had the Marmalade upgrade, I want to say. Yeah, I want to say uh, Flamingo just had a protocol upgrade. No, my apologies. They had the partnership with O3 Labs. Flamingo just uh, uh, has some kind of development contract with O3 Labs. And on top of everything that's going on with BlackRock, they got caught up in the mix and swept up. So, and for all of these moves, um, definitely something you may be able to scalp, but um, you pretty much missed the ride <laughs> with this one if you weren't <coughs> already holding when this happened. So, you know, trade with caution. Um, if you're advanced, you know, definitely there's always opportunities with large price movements. But if you're looking at logging, I would say proceed with caution on some of these because they are kind of moving on hype. Uh, on 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 like ephemeral news more so than like fundamentals all right um that's flamingo a pretty substantive increase um moving on we have kd8 yeah let me confirm this is cadena all right cadena are the guys with the, the uh, marmalade uh, version 2.0 upgrade so they've had a protocol upgrade so guys are already excited you know about the price about to move up because you know more utility equals more price but um, they, too, got swept up in this black rock, go, 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 rocket power. And um, they are seeing some very substantial gains, 26%. Yes, children, because this is how portfolios are made. Um, so, uh, again, if you're holding, congratulations. And if you're holding any of these coins right now, guys, please let me know how amazingly fortunate you were with the foresight that you had. But, um, yeah, like, definite opportunities to trade, especially in the um, shorter time frames, if you know what you're doing. All right, and finally, moving on to Conflux. Um, Conflux was billed as the Chinese Ethereum killer, if you remember this, guys. And I believe they went through a rename because they weren't initially named that. But um, they just recently had their Hydra hard fork. Uh, hard fork. Hard fork. And um, again, again uh, a lot of, of uh, protocols that had anything happen, any pop days, just got caught up in an amazing ride because there's so many coins above it that I'm not talking about right now that aren't, you know, like 
like 24%, 26%. They're less. They're like 15, like 17. But, you know, that's still major money, guys. Like that's that's still amazing price movement and amazing appreciation in your portfolio. But, um, yeah, that's the recap on our three hyped coins for Vibit. And I'm going to hand it back to you, Jordan, so you could um, bring us into our next portion. So BTC is on fire. BTC is pumping. Let's have a look at our chart. We are actually looking like the bulls are making a play to try and clear our resistance. So let's see if this turns into a wick. This could be a kind of stop hunt for those that are in shorts. So let's go to our shorts and let's see how close we are to getting stop hunted. We are about $400 away from being stopped out. And this is when you can start to even go down your charts. I mean, down your timeframes to your smaller timeframes. Bring out your EMAs. Bring out your parabolic SAR. Start to see what's happening with the trend and if your stop loss is in the right place. Everything is still looking relatively decent. I'm not going to add to the trade quite yet. I'm first going to wait to see how this 15 minute candle plays out. All right. So somebody did say Ethereum short. We're actually going to do a little bit of a chart of charting on Ethereum. Now I can see the 15 minute is not quite showing a short just yet. Close though. Let's wait and see what happens here. All right, so let's have a little bit of a look at BTC. This is our trading chart where we've bought, brought Confluence from a lot of other indicators, but let's break it down quickly for five minutes and five minutes on Ethereum. What we see here is absolutely beautiful and bullish. So we have our head and shoulders pattern here, which played out to a certain degree. It was about halfway, just over halfway down to its technical price target. And all profits obviously taken off the table from there. I did manage to catch some nice, a 400% ETH long, took all my profits on the table. It would be around 800% in profit now. So always a lesson to leave a little bit of a something on the table. But basically what I want to show you here. Okay, so Fibonacci retracement on BTC from the previous golden pocket. The first thing we look for is a completed trend. We find it from bottom to top. Here we see a break of structure, a break of trend. So Fibonacci retracement from the second step. First, you find the completed trend. Second step, draw the retracement from bottom to top. And what's so beautiful to see here is that it looks like it's not even the golden pocket that held us up. So beware. We could come back down to see the actual entry. This kind of a pump looks like it comes from a golden pocket zone. But actually, it's just beautiful influx into the market. It's a tiny fake out below this median line. It looked like we were going to retest this weekly channel to the downside, and it was just a complete fake out to the upside. And it looks like if you did get the 0 0.382, congratulations. I was waiting for the 0 0.618 on BTC, and it's always good to be patient. I did hop into this trend on Ethereum because I saw the Bollinger Bands just absolutely breaking through. Okay, so in the bullish play, of course, the resistance that we need to get through on the daily time frame is the top of this weekly channel that just throws us all the way back. If we look at the weekly chart all the way back, this is really what we're looking at. As we can see, macro from the previous cycle. And oh, now we have this strong breakout weekly candle. And, you know, we could we could see a big wick here. We could see another bullish weekly candle here. So everything's a little bit up in the air, which I enjoy. But basically what I'm trying to say is we could be making a play to test the top of this channel. And this is our next major, major resistance to break in the bullish scenario. So are we going to get exhausted to come retest support to go up? Are we going to just somehow with the bullish ETF news keep pumping up? And these are the kind of decisions that we're trying to make. So I hope everybody's following. Let's have a look at Ethereum. First, let's have a look at ETH against BTC. So absolutely dying. And basically, this is what we see when, when Bitcoin is really strong. When Bitcoin pumps, it will pump a lot more than ETH. And then ETH will actually catch up. It will turn around, dominance will change, and ETH will catch up. So actually, ETH is a better buy than Bitcoin now if you are actually buying in. Because as we can see, we kind of add a little bit of support for ETH against BTC. All right, ETH USDT, let's have a look. 
So we just had a typical, typical break of trend line. And oh, I can see why there are so many looking for the short, because if you just trade in a very simple trend break strategy here, we got the break and now we are possibly, we even have a little bit more room to the upside for a retest. And that could be your classic, look at this trend, classic break of trend, retest of support as resistance and a shoot down. Um, looking very nice. So we could possibly enter into an Ethereum trade like we did kind of preemptively. Um, all right, let's have a look at a slightly closer range. See if we can pick up on anything here. In terms of the Fibonacci's on Ethereum, let's first go from the bottom bottom of the trend to the toppy top. We can see that the move came from the 0 0.382, very nice. Let's have a look at the Fibonacci retracement from the, okay, so let me show you, let me just slow down. Let me slow down. If we go from top to bottom, we did get a move roundabout from the golden pocket. Now we're trying to identify where is our next golden pocket. We do a Fib retracement from the golden pocket entry to the top. Lo and behold, the long, the 400% long that I smashed was literally from the 0 0.618 golden pocket we are now retesting the 0.382 at the top so yes yes this could be a short there is resistance just above us too so we could pump a little bit further look at these candles so even though ethereum isn't outperforming against bitcoin it is it is pumping okay so let's see if there's anything important here uh, excuse me if my camera seems to have one second all right 0 0.382 level okay so one more thing i want to show you quickly before we move on is the fixed range volume profile on this chart it is absolutely awesome okay so just so you know this is a very simple pattern of course that i was scoping the breakout here was the breakout. There wasn't even a retest. Well, it came within the daily candles. So let me quickly show you how amazing this was. If we zoom in on that trend line breakout. Sure. We'll go to the one hour. Just look at this volume. So this is why we track these trend lines. Bitcoin was really struggling against this level. And when it finally broke it, it actually exploded. It, it like popped 10%. Wow, in one day. And you know, that is one of the reasons we love this assets, high volatility and high profit, high reward, high risk, high reward. Okay, so an, an important thing to note, I'm gonna show you quickly how to draw the fixed range volume profile. But important thing to note here is the top of the value area range. And right now it seems like we're actually wicking above the top of all the traded volume. And usually that does give us a little bit of resistance. We can see there's more resistance here. And then there's our final resistance there. And we can see how our rectangles are actually in line with the volume. So we are doing something well. These rectangles have not been drawn on the volume, but the confluence is there from other indicators. I hope that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take away this structure just to make things a little bit more simple for us. And I'm going to show you how to draw this fixed range volume profile. And it is very simple to search for. Just search for your fixed range volume profile. This one is just called FRVP. And basically the way to draw it is to just zoom out a little bit. Pick the bottom of the range that you'd like to have volume in as well as your time. So you drag the bottom all the way to where you currently are on your candles. And here we can see is the start of the range. That's how I'm identifying this range. So we're not gonna get any input for, for here in our volume, which is fine. If we break this range, then we'll look at the next range to the bottom. First thing to note, of course, we wanna bring this to the top. So from, it's kind of in reverse, but basically, Whatever you include here, time-wise from the top will be included. And whatever you include all the way from the bottom here backwards will be included. I hope this is making sense. So on the left, we have our top. And you just bring it literally 
to the start of the range here and the top of the range there. And what it shows us here is we broke through that resistance and we could very easily get a wick there. So this is the one hour time frame. If we go back to the daily, we've still got our fixed range volume profile there. And of course, it would be very bullish for us to find support above this value area high and push up to the weekly and the daily. That is possible. But it is also likely that we just get a wick just below, back below the value area high and back into the actual range to find support right in the middle of the range where all the volume is. So I hope everybody's following. That is my rapid whirlwind analysis of BTC. And sure, these trades are playing with us, so we'll have to come back to them in a second. I think for now, let's have a look at the Kahoot. I think this is the time to get involved in the Kahoot. Everybody, please join. I'm dropping the join link again now. All right, 10 minutes to the one hour mark. All right. We are looking to go with our Kahoot very soon. So please, everybody, join in. And let me know in the chat. I'm going to go into the chat now. Are there any trades that I've missed out on that I can quickly hop into? We have only opened two trades and there is volatility. How are you feeling, Leonard? I'm feeling good, man. I want to see how this plays out. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely curious myself, but like, um, I love the way you break it down. Like, I learn something every time. But um, yeah, like, are we gonna break out? Like, are we gonna, you know, bounce back down? Like, um, um I, I... that's an exciting time, and it's an exciting time to be in the trade. It's an exciting time to be on the sidelines because, of course, that's where you learn. I'm just looking at all the suggestions, and basically, I'm just looking straight on the 15 minute because that is the kind of time frame we're looking at. One of these days, I'm going to show you my five-minute strategy, five-minute cowboy strategy, which is really fun. You get in with high equity and you get out within five minutes. So maybe next time, if you're keen, we'll have a look at that. But, you know, there's reasons to be patient here. There's a reason I'm not going to enter. And look at the previous entry on the 15 minutes. If we wait, if you know, if you're in the right place at the right time and you hop on the train, you catch the train. Even in the uptrend, you catch the short. And then we did not reach yet the long zone. But ladies, ladies, very, very nice coin to trade. So thank you for that suggestion. Okay, so let's look at one more. There was one. Let's have a look at ADA, see if there's anything happening there. Up 10%. Beautiful. So my DCA bot will be looking healthy. Oof, stochastic in the right place. Regular wanting to come up just a little bit, just a little bit of a pump. So we'll wait for that. So everybody hop on the on the cahoots. I see we've got 29. Very, very good. 29. Can you show us LTC? Yes. All right, so LTC, I kind of have a little bit of a liking for because there is a long-term play there and they've managed to team up with some really cool people. Basically, LTC does work. It works really well, just like XRP. And, you know, there was always talk of LTC being the, the Twitter token that would be used on Twitter, etc. And same thing with PayPal. There was talk about it being the, the PayPal exclusive token. Ooh, look at this. Mm. Okay, let's look at LTC. And it is also a nice coin to trade. Okay, LTC on the 15 minutes. Quite tempting, not exactly in the right place. Looks like more of a possible swing trade to the downside on the four hour time frame. Very nice. So we could just do it on this simple analysis right here. We can set a tight stop. So if we break out, we don't get wrecked. But if we come down from here, we can see there was a nice pump. So we do have some reasons to enter. We've got about a 16% possible profit ratio. And we've also got, of course, some strong support that is now turning into resistance so let's go to the time frame we're going to trade this on i'm going to go to the four hour we can see that's where we're in a position of power we are breaking through here so beware this is going to be a tight stop trade but let's go cross 10x make sure we're on hedge mode 100 dollars with a take profit and a stop loss on the short and we're just going to quickly go around 
and around 30% stop. And let's open the trade. There we see our stop loss. And for the stop loss, to help us out, we can bring up the parabolic SAR. And currently, we are still in an uptrend on the parabolic SAR on the four hour. So we'll wait for that confirmation. Whew, but things are very, very tight here. So let me just quickly look at this four hour again. I think I'm happy with our risk to reward. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait this one out. Let's play this one out. Wow, we see our FLM popping up. Or should I say popping down into profit? Parabolic SAR about to break. Confirmation of the entry, trend change. Things are looking good. All right. PL not looking bad. We're about a four dollars down in total. We're about a eight dollar nine dollars down on our Bitcoin. Just entered LTC. We're about four dollars up on the FLM. Let's look at the Kahoot. All right, so now is the time. Now is the actual time. Hop on, Aylar, Aika, Aika, Manuel, Hassan, Danadras, for a tree. Sure, everyone's in the building. So I'm going to drop it one more time. If anybody's having trouble, please let me know. I don't see my nickname. Interesting. I yeah. submitted my name. Uh, just please. relog. If you're not seeing yourself come up, just come back out and come back in. It should fix it. If not, you're cursed, unfortunately. But yeah, no, it, it usually fixes it like 100% of the time. Yeah, Tree Hubbly, five minutes is for absolute rodeo. It's literally for having fun and for backtesting until you are good enough. So just stay away. And I will show you the five minute strategy because it's awesome. But it's really for trading with, say, $5, $10. And every now and then you can make $100 or $5. And that's when you know that you're doing something right. All right, I see that peeps are interested in the five minute strategy. All right, can expect it next time. All right, Leo's gonna donate his profits. <laughs> BTC going strong. He is not. <laughs> Completely understand we're saying thanks for analysis. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> okay, let's start the quiz. Let me just remind you, DJ and trading is just for fun. Just for fun. Okay. All right. It looks like yes, sir. we are almost ready to go. Things are looking good. 28. We should be more. So let me know if you're having trouble. I will give two more minutes. Long TRX, STX, Anthony. Long TRX. That's interesting. Okay, so I think it's time for Kahoot. The charts are so exciting now. I just want to open more trades. <laughs> but let's do it. I'm stoked for these questions. Beware. We've added a little bit of tricks. And like I said in the chat, if you were concentrating, some questions will be coming from those Bybit announcements. So while we give our last minute, I will quickly show you the announcements. All right, so June referral rumble from June 15th to June 30th check it out i'm going to drop the link right now in the comments as well as no give me one second Liquidity mining rush with a prize pool of $10,000. I'm going to drop the link right now. And I hope you've been concentrating on everything that I've said because the Kahoot is not an easy one. All right. Let's get into it. I think we're about ready to go. 
please let me know if you'd like me to wait. Abhishek says start. <laughs> I have entered but not showing on your screen. Try one more time. Reconnected Kahoot 12 times. <laughs> Face crying. I'm sorry to hear. I'll give you 30 more seconds. I see. As soon as we're back at 31, 32, we'll hit it. Alec, don't see my nickname. Try one more time. Pepe Long. Nice. Okay, so let's get into it. We are starting in 10. All right. And remember, speed counts, people. So as soon as you get that answer, at least commit. There's a balance, a balance between speed and accuracy. Okay, so I'm going to clap it. You can continue to enter. I'm going to drop the link one more time. You can always hop on and still beat everyone else. It says my name's already taken. Oh, no. <laughs> So check if you're open in another window or anything like that, or use a new name. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. This is looking good. Let's go. Everybody ready? Time for Kahoot. Kahoot. Episode three, guys. All right. Let's get cracking. All right. So All you right. can read the question. We just talked about this, guys. Um, all right, what is Zach XBT being sued by Maki Big Brother for? And we went over this at length, but like, what is the essential problem? Like, like, what's his beef with Zach XBT? You got about 10 more seconds. It's the whole news point. All right, we got 22, 24 answers. All right, everybody remembers this. Good, good. Very All right, nice. and it was for... 14. 14. Good job, guys. Thank you for paying attention. And of course, good. Getting my trick. But I did trick some of you. They were not exploited. They were not exploited. It was merely defamation of character through published article. All right, so let's have a look. Surprise, surprise. Jess is at the top. Then Anthony trades by. <laughs> I have a new idea. Oh, so that's why you used the number. Very, very yes. clever. Yes. <laughs> very, yeah. very clever. And Chuku Sam, newcomer to the up. top table. Okay, this is true or false. Let's smash it. First ever spot right, next ETF is being filed. True or false. First ever. And think about this, guys. All right, and I see the answers pouring in. I think they've already made up their mind on this one. 15 seconds left, 29 answers in. Very, very nice. Yes. First ever spot ETF. All right, five more so seconds. This one, I believe, most of us should get. Wow. Okay, so we tricked you. It is not the first ever spot ETF. Exactly. It is the first American right. spot ETF, if I am correct, Leonard. So there is always learning. Correct. Uh, this has been done for like the last 10 years. So like definitely not the first. You got him. And you got to pay attention, guys. Dial in. You know what I'm saying? So Chuku Sam coming up to the top. Then we have 110. Then Manuel. Very nice. Lalit and Crypto Cloud. Foray is up eight places. Okay. So All this right. next question is difficult. I'm warning you. And let me explain. Um, so let's see here. This is a quiz question, but you can multi-select which of the following have applied for crypto spot ETFs? The more you get right, the more points you get. The more you get wrong, the less points you will actually get. You can choose <laughs> four answers. You can choose three answers. You can choose two answers. This is truly testing your knowledge. Which of the following have applied for crypto spot ETFs? Think about this, guys. You've seen these names in the news. You know this. Just... Think about it. Awesome. So most of you, the majority, Congrats, getting it guys. right. For Only nine choosing A16C. Congratulations. We've got some brainiacs. <laughs> sure. So Chuku Sam killing it. Then Manuel right. Harday. 110. Let us know who you are. And Crypto Cloud. Okay, Leonard, you can read this yeah. one. Yeah, uh, 
Drax is. I love the idea up. though. That's that's genius, man. He's like, you are not going to. Yeah, like I will <laughs> give oh, you my UI. Right. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys what are the running dates for the june referral rumble we just saw this so it flashed up on the screen what is the operating time for this particular campaign one of two by the way all right people are remembering this not like that immediate rush like the first one but they're getting it 10 more seconds five six five seconds All right. Very nice. And everybody pretty much got that one nailed. Good job, dude. It's June 15th. Be there, be square. All right, let's see. All right, Manuel. All right. Damn. Okay, so very tight for top place. <laughs> one ten's on fire. Very tight for fourth and fifth. Let's go. All right, we just saw this as well. What is the prize pool for the liquidity mining rush campaign? The second campaign that we showed, uh, 20 seconds. And you just saw this number. Put on your thinking caps, think back just a little bit. 9 more seconds. Seems like mostly everybody remember that. <laughs> Crypto calls to follow for tricks in the chat. All right, nice. good job, dudes. And dude, No one choosing 10 USDT, well done. <laughs> okay. Okay, so after five questions, let's see what's <laughs> happening. Trades by real entering into the leaderboard. Chukru Sam taking first place. Manuel Alice just behind. And Lalit doing very well. Gent guard, seven places up. Okay, next Q, let's do it. Yes. All right, what does FRVP stand for? Oh, I love these answers. 25 seconds. Fixed rent volume profile, fixed range violence profile, false range volume profile, <laughs> or fixed range volume profile. Six seconds left, 22 answers. Five in. seconds. Don't run out of time, let's go. All right. Time. Excellent. Nice. All right. Fixed range, uh, fixed range volume profile because that violence got me. But uh, yeah, good job, dudes. I see everybody. Do that. All right. Manuel on Jackson the top. And Zyda. The UI DD110 is just, he's been hanging in there, man. He is. He is not. All right. The struggle the is real. Falling for tricks. Devil is in the building. <laughs> no, sixth place. All right. We did go through this. What is what the is first, the first step, step in drawing a fib drawing. retracement? Drawing a fib retracement. Yes, sir. 16 answers in, 16 seconds left. Twenty two answers in, let's go. Five seconds left. Two one. And very nice blue identify completed trade. Good job, guys. Good job. Very, very All nice. Right. Let's see what the charts look like. And this is seven of ten. We're into our last three questions. So play the catch up game if you're liking, guys. All right, man. And well, shoot, Zyder. Hard A, awesome, one of our <laughs> newbies. Don't know if we can call you a newbie anymore. Well done, Posh Haas. This is serious competition. Yeah, the whole I mean, board. Look like how this leaderboard changed, is popping it up. Is, it is, Struggling, but we move. Nice to have you, Rifat. All right, let's go. All right, another multi-select. All right, what are the first four numbers in the Fibonacci sequence? All right. So this is not... And you may even remember this today. from, like... Hopefully I didn't get that wrong. Oh, okay. Single, okay. single correct answer here. 
We'll see. Okay. Yeah, let's see. 17 answers. All right, we got 16 answers. A little bit less than 10 seconds left. All right. All right. A little bit of a mixed so... bag on that one. The correct answer was 1-1. One, one. Actually. I did yeah. give a little bit of a trick there because the Fibonacci sequence is the addition of the two previous numbers and not a doubling of the last number. So I see some of you fell for the 1, 2, 4, 8, which doubles each time, but it doesn't double. It adds 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. All right. Well done to the 13 who got it. Let's go. Manuel looks right, like he's see. going for this trophy. Then we have Chukru, right. Zyder, Manuel Hardy, still Marshall. holding that lead. <laughs> Big right, fan. Good job, guys. Awesome. Hang in there. Crypto Cloud. Keep Thank going. you for Bangladesh. <laughs> All right. Question number nine. What is my All main right. what strategy? What is Jordan's main strategy, Jen? guys? Right over 15 seconds left. Rhyming of regular and stochastic uh, RSI, Fibonacci Golden Pocket, regular RSI, and MA Golden Cross. Which one, guys? A little bit less than 10 seconds. 21 answers in. All right. And 11 for red. Rhyming of regular. And that word kills me always. <laughs> RSI on the 15-minute time frame. All right. So for those who chose Fibonacci Golden Pocket, that is more for swing or for position trading. For swing or position entries, not so much for scalping. And as we know, degen means degenerate, and it usually refers to scalping large positions. Okay, so let's move on. All right, is everybody ready? Last question. Let's see this scoreboard. Oh, Jess coming back in, looking to claim... Okay. All right. And Lalit, Chukru, very nicely done. 110. Let me Emperor know who the 110 is. Emperor with the 6th place climb. Not quite on the chart, but... Who is your Yeah, we, we, you've been killing it, man. Like... Emperor Smee up 6th places. Chat. All right. Final question. As always, when is the next Art of Trading live stream? 20 answers in 25 20 seconds. seconds left. Absolutely. <laughs> Scalping is indeed real. Yeah. <laughs> All right, coming up on 10 seconds, and you got this, guys. All right, and we're going to see our final chart. Boom. One. Everybody except All one right. getting it right. Today is the and 21st. next week. So, let's <laughs> have a look. Oh, you were clicking too fast. All right. Final <laughs> scoreboard. Let's have a look at the podium. All right. All right. In third place, our mystery man who absolutely killed it the whole time. Tukusam for the second and for the goal. Oh... Oh, well, well, congratulations, guys. Y'all killed it. And our runners up. All right, Jess with runners up, lit. Jess and Lit. Good job, guys. Thank you for paying attention. Y'all killed it today. It was a competitive board today, man. They were like neck and neck. You know, board got wiped, whole new set. That was, that was pretty clean. That was absolutely awesome. And I'm sorry for the trickery, but you know that is how I do. Okay, <laughs> so to end off the stream, and once again, congratulations to Manuel Chukru and our uid there and let's see our fourth and fifth places we have jess and lilith runners up very nice please do drop your uids or send them to us okay so let's quickly look at our dj trades and wrap up the stream see how we're doing so flm yeah that's hovering around our entry not printing a touch on the parabolic SAR, but usually when wicks touch the SAR so many times, we will see a print and we could easily see a drop. If we'd like to manage risk, we just bring our stop down. 
All right, we can even bring our take profits because remember, this is for scalping. This is for being on the charts. If you want to hop off the charts, adjust your scalps accordingly. We could even enter a trailing stop, but the FLM is looking like it could still give us a win right now going back into profit. Let's assess this BTC trade 15% up. So we could move our entry price up by adding to our trade. Stochastic is finally in the right position. So let me show you how easy it is to add to a trade. You just come to your order by cost margin and you literally, you're already in a short. You just open the short. And as you saw, my entry price moved higher up. Of course, everything changes now risk to reward wise. My position margin is increased. So understand what you're risking. And we see here $33 against 135 profit. All right. So I hope everybody is understanding. And it's because we are now in overbought on the 15 minute on our stochastic and our regular. I don't want to bring the stop loss too tight in case we get a bit of a stop hunt here. So we'll continue looking at these trades. I'll keep you updated. FLM looking good. Let's quickly have a recap on the LTC. Slightly above entry. And we're waiting for a confirmation of our entry with a change. And like I said, we could see this the regular RSI just coming up before we see any proper downwards movement. And we'll also sit on our fingers there. Of course, if we want to manage our risk further, bring our stop loss slightly down. And I think we can bring our take profit above this major support all right so i'll keep you updated i was expecting a little bit more volance but i think it's about to come in so i hope everybody has enjoyed the session i will keep you updated in the discord pepe is pumping crypto cloud very nice congrats to the winners 100 percent. well done the keyword for the form i believe yes, is whew, um i don't want to say the wrong thing oh there it is test to okay, run okay, one all right so i hope everybody yeah. has enjoyed thank you for being here remember always play from a position of power and strength use a stop loss and don't get wrecked i'll see you all in the communities thanks again for being a part of this awesome phenomenon that is out of trading and please be sure be here next week same place, same time, same fun. Manuel, Thanks. first win. Absolutely awesome. So from my side, remember. Oh, and make sure to like and power, subscribe. Stop loss. <laughs> Truly appreciate Leonard, it. final words from you. Oh, yes, of course. Please drop us a like. Much appreciated. We always love it. So happy you guys came out today. Um, thank you for participating. As always, love you guys. Come see us again next same time next week, as said. And um, apparently... You know, keep your eyes on the market. A lot going on today. Always stay tuned in the news. You know, like macroeconomic additions always influence. So, like, keep your eyes on the ground. Make sure you're paying attention. But um, lovely to see you guys today, and we will see you next time. Any questions? Um, if you haven't already submitted your IDs, just to uh, reiterate, just see somebody in the chat. Come see one of us. You can PM me. We'll get that down for you. Thanks again, guys. And you guys have a lovely day. Appreciate you coming out. Thanks, everybody. See you in the communities. Have a lovely day further. Goodbye.